I have met people that eat uh, eggs on a vegetarian diet, and they're called lacto-ovo-vegetarians. Uh, I've even met people that eat chicken and call themselves vegetarians and don't eat red meat. Uh, but you know, these are subtle distinctions. One variety of vegetarian is a person who eats no animal products, whatever, and they're called vegans. Uh, and so a, a vegan will not eat honey because it comes from bees. Uh, no vegans will not eat dairy products. Uh, so they're quite strict. Now, one of the questions that comes up if you, if you shift your eating in this direction, are you at risk for any dietary deficiencies? Uh, also, a practical problem is I've met, especially in the past 10 years, I've met a lot of kids and teenagers who've become vegetarians or vegans. I think often because this is either, either morally appealing or it's a fad in the circles that they travel in. And a lot of them are eating things like macaroni and cheese every night for dinner and, and pizza <laughs> for lunch and french fries. And that's not, you know, if you're eating that way, that is certainly not a healthy variety of vegetarianism or veganism. I think it's possible being a vegetarian or being a vegan uh, to get everything you need for your diet, but it, there's some things you have to be careful of. Um, for vegans especially, there, there's a few concerns. One is where you're going to get omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, you know, you can get these from vegetable sources, but it's, they're, it's not as good as getting them from fish or fish oil supplements. Also in a vegan diet can be at risk for iron deficiency and zinc deficiency. There, there are vegetarian sources of these minerals, but they're things you just have to be conscious of. In, uh, after being a lacto-vegetarian for about 15 years, uh, I changed my diet and started to eat fish. Uh, so technically, I'm not a vegetarian anymore, or I'm a pesco-vegetarian. Somebody told me that a good name for that would be a vegetarian. Uh, I started eating fish for several reasons. The first is I travel a lot, and I travel internationally. And I found that, that being a lacto-vegetarian was difficult for me, especially going to Japan, where I'd spent a lot of time. It's very hard to be a lacto-vegetarian in Japan. And also, I was more and more convinced from the scientific literature about the value of including fish in the diet, especially for omega-3 fatty acids. So, you know, I, I'm very careful about the fish that I eat because of concerns, two concerns, both about environmental toxicity in fish and the sustainability of fish sources.